Right everybody, interesting job for today. We've just put a new submersible pump in this, uh, what do you call it then? Well it's an uh, irrigation system. Did you say it was 500 gallons? I don't know to be, I don't think it's as much as 500. I'll now, find out. It's got like a, a cylinder which holds a void of the water and then it goes flat under the lawn. It's like a submarine, that's like a conch. Yeah. So in the bottom of there we just dropped a new pump. We thread the, threaded the cable through to the power source over there. Just dropped the filter in there. So all the rainwater from the house goes into this sump. Now if you're keeping your rainwater then you get uh, reduced water rates. Um, and ideal for doing the garden. But, uh, the um, the pump failed. And I think the pump failed because I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to drop my phone in here. See that yellow bit there? There's a float valve on float ball on there which holds the filter upright. But I think the string was too long. The filter must have dropped into the sludge at the bottom, sucked all the sludge into the pump. Probably broke the impeller. So the chaps bought a new pump. The pump stands. Well, it's probably about two foot tall pump, stands vertical in there. And that yellow pipe you can see on the other side there goes off to, um, if you've got like a sump manhole here, which you've got your tap in. So you can have a stand pipe on there. Um, you can run all your water in from your garden from that hidden tank. Ideal. But a bit more interesting for today, we've just got to try and prime that pump now. Get the electric sorted out. A bit more interesting job for today. Dug that bloody big hole out there yesterday for some patio slabs. I'm not doing that because those slabs are so bloody heavy. 20 of them are a ton. Uh, 20, 24 by 36. Old council slabs. We've got 94 of those slabs, 50p each, from a bloke who was renewing some of them. I don't know why he was renewing them, he never break them. So they've done that patio, they've done down by the jetty, another patio over there, and a, and a path right the way down the garden. Yeah, this guy's garden looks big, it's actually two properties that will be splitting off at some stage. His dad bought it back in the 30s, 40s I think. He just had a caravan on here year for years and then he built this house a couple of years back anyway that's uh water pump vid bye if you like it thumbs up subscribe